I believe in God. God is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. What is this place? I have no memory of it. I feel guilty. I did something horrible, but I can't remember what it is. I can't remember my life at all. I need help, and I must... It seems to lead to the other side of the... It seems to... I have a strange feeling looking at these graves. For reasons unknown, the stones have no names or dates, just a cross. stuck someone's holding it from the inside may i come in all i seek is help and forgiveness that voice i recognize it it won't budge father can you let me in here on the doorstep of the blessed house i'm asking you i'm begging you have not set your mind on the things of god but on the things of men I know I did something horrible, I can feel it, but everything's so obscured, I... I beg you, have mercy, let... Something's appearing on the stones. Petra Donani, 1943 to 1997. Forgive me, Mother. I barely remember you. It reads, Yosef Donani, 1935 to 199, the year of his death is missing. I can't remember what happened to you. Father, can you... Your mind was infected by your corrupted soul. My mind may be roaming in the shadows, but my soul is still pure. Let me talk to him. You don't have a soul anymore, son. Guilt. If you had stayed true to the... I've never abandoned... What? It... I can't remember... A long time ago. I never abandoned God. Enough! It's a pity to what you've been a corrupted... You... But forgiveness... A... I accept your Bible, Father. It is my burden now. Now walk to the other side of the valley until... That is my punishment. To dwell eternally in such... You've already been punished for your... Who cursed me? Deeds cannot be undone. If you truly repent and want to be absolved in his eye, you... I don't understand. I'm the last... Fallacy! Wait, I'm... Who cursed me? Father? Into your hands, I commend my... I don't know who I am looking for, but I need to act quickly and find that poor... The path to redemption. Or hell. This is the place? Not a single soul is alive here. I may be late. The scent so close to this... All of these people scorched beyond recognition. 
Hold on. They all have almost identical marks on their flesh. So familiar. I must have seen them before. I know. Seals of pledge, the devil's marks. These people pledged their obedience to the most evil of all. Poor mindless beings. There's something on one of the cadaver's neck. A necklace, it seems. It's formed by seven... It's... God, talk to me. Give me a sign. Nothing but so It's a rotting mass of scorched flesh and dried blood. I should stay away from that. It could be infectious. Its limbs are still intact, but the head has no eyes, no mouth, and no ears. Its salvation is what this person sought, but failed to achieve. That's a strange notion. I dare not to try this. It's formed by seven... God, nothing but... Fire mutilated its hands and gave it a locust-like figure. Formed by its It's a rosary, still intact. Some initials are carved on the cross. B, D. B, D. I can't recall, I, I'm struggling, but there's something. Who are you? What do you want? In the name of God, answer me or be gone. yourself Victoria Victoria She had the rosary my rosary Those initials are mine This is my sister my bloodline's last soul dead in front of my eyes My sister, feet. May God drown you in the lake of... The fire. The fire, the screaming, the... Sc I remember now. I executed them all. Torched them alive in the name of God for acts of heresy. And I killed Victoria, the last of my bloodline, too.
But I still can't remember. Nothing before or after this act. Nothing at all. It's like I'm seeing someone else's memory. Save my... My... Uh, eternal torment and so... I can't see. I can't see anything at all. My, my eyes are fine. It's, it's just that I don't... Oh, I, I don't have my glasses on. That dream. The church from my hometown. The graves of my parents. The crucified cadavers and God. Uh, it was the most terrible dream I've ever... I remember everything from my past. I've never sinned. I've never been forbidden. I know what true faith is. I'm obedient. It's what I want. My father, who won my father, who gave me his body. What? I, I can't fight. Where is it? It's my blanket. A wooden stick? Something's on the floor. Glasses? Oh. I'm so distressed. How was I supposed to find anything without them? Victoria may have been killed by my hand inside the nightmare, but she did something even more terrible to me outside of it. She dragged me to this town and made me stay in this living tomb of a house that tried to taint me while I was sleeping. No, it didn't try to taint me. It tried to curse me. Yes, I was told in the nightmare that I was cursed. It must have been my mind which was trying to warn me I was being cursed by the house. Or by the town as a whole. I don't know. Both, I guess. I'm still in peril here. I can't leave without my Bible, and I can't leave alone. Not with... Ah. My blanket. I don't need it. I don't understand the smaller ones. It's something abstract. But the lady, she has kind, dark eyes and a grave face with long black hairs. It doesn't belong to any of us, but maybe. Nothing, just a few very long and thick spikes. This is not a stoop, and the water inside is not holy. This is profane. It resembles a dying woman, or one that's suffering unbearable pain. One of her eyes is gouged out, and the other one is closed, and parts of her face are mutilated. Tall, dark trees. It depicts a pale, bald man with a very long, white, or even yellow beard. It's like staring...
It's a bust of an unknown veiled person. A symbol, almost unnoticeable. It looks like a strange cross with three triangles. It looks like a miniature of a skull-headed humanoid tribe. It's an older man, apparently terrified by something he has seen, without being able to see. Mother used to have a similar one. I can still hear its sound in my head, see the images of those beautiful childhood days in my mind. I can't see my Bible in these shadows. Victoria must have taken it from me while I was asleep and then placed it somewhere upstairs. There was no other explanation, even though it is strange. She never did that. of the woods is this makes me wonder are all the creations in this house a consequence of someone's imagination or experience the manuscript of Luca Tomini Codex Niva Godin part of Pagubice I've never heard of these works It's an unfinished painting of what looks to be like a mother and a child standing in shallow water. Is that a ch Who's there? Victoria? Nikolai? Where's my Bible? I don't know. Why don't you ask her? Where is she? Under the blanket. Come closer. Wake her up. Leave it for the sake of my eyes. I hate the dark. The bed's empty. Where is she? What do you believe in, Benedict? Where's my sister? I need to see her. She took my Bible away from me. Answer me first. Besides God, what do you believe in? I believe life should be spent in solitude where questions like yours cannot arise. See, I believe life is pointless without a family. We don't exist if we don't belong to someone else except God. Family, Benedict. Without a family, life cannot exist. You made that clear enough when you abandoned priesthood to marry my sister. That was a sacrifice I believed had to be made. As of today, I'm not so sure anymore. I'm not following. Family members don't hurt each other. It's wrong. Don't you agree? Victoria hurt you? What did she do this time? You did. You turned her against me. What are you talking about? About the things you suggested to her yesterday on the train. 
I beg your pardon? I didn't say a word to her, to you, to no one, as a matter of fact. What about calling me an addict? Th that I did say, but what have I done? I didn't turn her against you. She even defended you. Of course she did, when she's the one who gave me the morphine months ago. She did what? She did what family's supposed to do. She helped her husband to alleviate his pain. Now, it's your turn, Benedict. Will you help me? Help you with what? I, I just want to talk to her. I want that too. I want to talk to my wife. So where is she? What's going on? I, I don't want to stay here anymore. You think I'm a degenerate? Have I imagined hearing your voices downstairs? Who? Uh, that was just me. She's not downstairs. How many times I called your names before hearing that horrible scream of yours? I screamed when I woke up from a terrible nightmare. Well, I'm living the nightmare right now. Don't lie to me. I heard you talking after that scream. I talked to God, and I talked to myself, and then I came here to talk to her. Is that true? Because the real problem I have is that the two of you emptied my whole bag while I was asleep. Why? I don't care about all that stuff. Have it. Now that he mentioned his bag, where's mine? I didn't see it downstairs. Just give me my morph... <laughs> my pills back. Make my pain go away. You think I'm a... Th I believe you can be anything you want. As long as it fits your... But you're not stupid. You wouldn't... Instead of accusing me, perhaps you should search in that bag of yours again. I did that. And I scoured the whole floor several times. Maybe it was you. Maybe it's time for me to start questioning. Why? I already told you she's not there. Don't be anxious. If she is, I'll make her talk and give me my pills back. If she's not, I'll find them by myself. In any case, I'll call you once I'm done. Maybe they had a quarrel and she left before I woke up. I don't trust him. Whatever the truth is, I should take the chance and search for my Bible while he's not around. Remember what I asked you? Have you seen my Bible? I don't understand. You want my help now? <laughs> uh, to be honest, I'm not sure I've seen it. But you should definitely search the floor. Be Not ideal, but much better. I'll have to find the key. A yellow blanket, wrinkled only on one side, which means that either Victoria or Nikolai didn't sleep here. It's locked. It's a giant tree with dozens of corpses hanging from its branches and skulls that feed its roots. The branches represent visual keychain holders, and there's a key hanging as a corpse on one of them. Sickening. So, obviously, your wife's not here, Nikolai. She must have sneaked out while Benedict was holding you upstairs. And now you're supposed to go after her, right? Perhaps she has your pills. But just look around the room first. Just a mere wooden... Very intriguing piece of art.
could be worth taking a look. No pills. No, you should first search the whole floor. An empty basin. A lifeless woman who's been tortured. The witch, the king, and the kingdom. Silent. A man of sea. The sun is set. be at least a century old. Looks like the owner has an alluring hobby. Eh, these dolls are nothing special. Except for the big ones at the back. Not counting the headless ones, of course. You should definitely take one of them for your private collection. Which one do you choose? Good choice. The image of Jesus, the doll with a thorny crown. Fascinating. What do we have here? A small brown bag. And it's not just any bag. It's Benedict's bag. So you have to ask yourself why it was hidden here. What's inside? Just old clothes. And nothing but molding them. It fits perfectly, but the lock won't budge. The door is... I haven't checked the whole floor yet. I've never seen this woman, but I feel like I know her from somewhere. It's not a place. Strange. These are not books. Just blank covers with no names and no numbers. My Bible doesn't seem to be among them. Was he telling me the truth? He did. It's completely empty. Why would Victoria take all of his belongings? It doesn't make any sense. It's locked. Just old clothes. The painting is stained, but the sinister gaze of the man is still clearly noticeable. Is that a ch Miniatures of strangely shaped white people. The door is locked. of dead damned rats
it scurried into the... Victoria! Nikolai, what's happening? I'd better check. Who keeps a heap of dissected frogs in his house? Just old. That window was right above the front door. Liar said he'd call me. Nikolai! Wait! I have to stop him. That's my bag. How did it get on the floor? The inside is all wet, slimy. My rosary is here, and so is my pen. But everything else is gone. Nikolai must have known the whole time where my bag was. Which means he has my... He has my Bible as well. Or it's Victoria who has it. I, I didn't turn her... Maybe it's all part of a wicked plot against me. All she had to do was drag me to this place and put me... And now they are just pulling the string. And now he's doing the same. Nikolai! I was checking something. Really? On the ground, between the leaves, and behind the house. Stop this madness. Who's there? <sighs> Calm down. Why are you doing this to me? Benedict, listen to me. No, I've listened to your lies in the house. Now you should listen to me. All right. I'm all ears. It's clear to me that what the two of you are doing goes way back, months before this damn journey. What are you talking? Let me explain. How would you describe this town? Would you say it's a hidden gem in the mountains? To whom? The gem in the mountains were her words. That's how Victoria tried to convince me to go on this journey with the two of you. And when I refused, what did she do? She went to my superior, Father Imre, and claimed Sveti Kotar is a work of God. She convinced him, so I had to go. But I never believed those words. And God knows I was right to do so. We all saw the truth the moment we arrived in this town. You mean the ritual on the square? I found it fascinating. Where's my Bible? Again with this question? You must have lost it somewhere. But don't worry, you can probably get a new one in town. I don't want a new one. I want exactly that Bible, because it is mine. It was given to me by my father. And no one else except me is allowed to carry it, or even just touch it. Not my sister, not you, not even Father Imre. I know. Calm down. Victoria told me this a long time ago. This journey, this house, the disappearances, it's all part of your wicked plot against me. <laughs> a plot? against you can you hear yourself i'm starting to believe victoria was right to have doubts about your health so this is what this journey is all about you want to make me look crazy put me in a mental institution you got it all wrong calm down wrong you knew the whole time where my bag was did victoria hide my bible there and then you just grabbed it on your way out i found something slimy in my bag did you drool while stealing my stuff, or was it her? Benedict. And where is she? Is she hiding in the woods? Do you know? Of course you do. She must have told you that I cannot leave this town without her. So why is she hiding from me? Because she knows I can't leave without her, and this just prolongs the agony. And that's exactly what's going on here. But you know, so no. You certainly made a point here. I would... You expect me to believe? We were robbed, Benedict. 
When I woke up, my first thought was that you and Victoria stole all my stuff. Including my morphine. Then I went down and found your bag behind the dolls. Unlike my own, yours wasn't empty. So I was right. Victoria put the Bible inside, and you... No. The only things I found in there are a pen, a rosary, and this. Are those human eyes? You're the one who's crazy here. Thirty pig's eyes inside a pig's bowel. Horrible, I agree. But, uh... That's why your bag was so slimy. This is insane. He's lying. And now that he's come closer, I can notice an unpleasant, musty smell on him. I believe it's what the perpetrator left to mock us. After stealing our stuff, he obviously had a need to leave a mark of his deed. And who's supposedly our perpetrator? The owner of the tavern. Of course. Why would a man who waited a whole day just to give us the keys of the house do such a thing? And why would he take everything but my rosary and a pen? I guess because it's the same man who left a dozen of pig's eyes in your bag. I don't know where he got this bowel, but this story is ridiculous. So how do you explain Victoria's missing bag then? If that man robbed us without taking our bags, where is hers? Maybe Victoria took it with her. I noticed that the blanket on your bed is wrinkled only on one. Confess, Victoria didn't sleep at all. Enough with this crazy idea that this is all about you! I don't know where Victoria... The smell on Nikolai, I just realized. It's the same odor of the wardrobe upstairs. These clothes he's wearing are not his. He must have taken them. I'm going to get all of our stuff back. Don't worry. You just stay here and wait for Victoria. What? Wait, no, you shouldn't... Is he going to meet her in town? Or perhaps she's hiding in the woods and waiting for me to leave. What should I do? I have to move. I need my morphine. I'm going with you. Think about your sister. If you follow me, one... We can leave a note. What about your Bible? That's what I've been asking you from the moment you saw me. So, you really don't have it. You're not as methodical as I thought you were. What are you trying to say? Your Bible's in the cabinet upstairs. I didn't touch it. I swear. Where? How would you know if you didn't put it there? I was searching for my pills when I found it among that pile of frogs. Why didn't you tell me until now? I thought you found it after I went downstairs. It's all right. Just go take it, and then we can leave together. You should have said something. If that is the truth, if it's really there, you desecrated it by leaving it among those carcasses. That pile is the only place I didn't search. I have to be sure he's not lying this time. Benedict, don't make me wait too long. I've heard this dreaded sound too many times in my life. Frogs and frogs and more. I didn't touch them before. How did they fall out? There's something buried beneath. It looks like it... It must be... Bible. This would never have happened if... Decided to come in? Is that you, Victoria? For God's sake, answer me! I must get out of here before it's too late. I like it, Ed.
What do you want? I don't know if that was Nikolai. It's so dark in there. Trying again to disappear? I cannot stay in this house. I have to go into town and try to find Victoria. Maybe that was her. Maybe it was Nikolai. Or maybe it was a stranger. God, I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but I have to leave. I'd need a key to see. What was Nikolai doing? Just leaves. Stirred, thrown aside, piled. My identity document. And Nikolai's too. Maybe he hid everything here. It doesn't make any sense. Why would he hide our documents here? Why his own? I already checked every... They're withered and woven all over the fence. They probably surround the whole house like a cursed crown. If that was her in the house, m m maybe I should just try to draw her out. Is that what you had in mind when you said... What did you call this journey? Ah, yes. A gift for the soul and the mind. Now I understand what you meant. You want me to go insane. Put me away in an institution for life. But why? Hiding in the shadows won't do any good for anyone. Come out and talk to me. Do you wonder how our parents feel now? True. Father always detested you, so by doing this, you're nothing. Someone just moved from that window. They might have seen who entered the house. Maybe they have some information about Victoria. I have to ask. The owner doesn't seem to care. I can't. It felt like my spine was going to burst out of my back. The graveyard of the house. It's pitch black down there. It's held by a small angel and filled with the stench of death. There's a piece of rotting flesh inside this. It's dark and bare. In the back room, I can see just some sheet-covered furniture bathed in dim candlelight. It looks just like the one on the other side of the door. This one is holding a withered plant. Nothing to see here. You don't mind me trying to lift up your beautiful angel. It shouldn't be left neglected like that. I'm... Uh, we... Uh, we arrived last night. You probably heard us. A, a woman and I had a loud quarrel in front of the neighboring house. I'm looking for her. Living so close, I suppose you visit the woods often? Ever venture in? Is it safe? 
At some point after we arrived, maybe even during the night, she left the house and hasn't returned. Have you seen that woman? Maybe she never left. I don't know. <clears throat> Did you see anyone going into the woods a short time ago? I didn't want to pester you. This was a mistake. I, I, I apologize. I, I, I should never... And so I descended into the valley of the shadow of death, oblivious of what this decision meant. Meanwhile, Nikolai was already walking there. Hmm. Huh. She was right. This town really is a hidden gem. One that should have been buried so deeply as to never been found. Well... We're here now, so let's hear what our perpetrator has to say. Hmm. Everything that's left of that tall figure, the inhabitants set on fire last night. A priest with a dagger in his hand. The inscription says it's Ivan Kotar, the patron saint of the town, who lived from 1159 to 1218. Despite being unreadable, it reveals this is some kind of municipal building. I have no reasons to go in there. Souvenirnitsa Lamniak. You should go into the tavern. Oh, hello there. Hello, lady. You should go and... Gorski. <clears throat> Can you hear me? Given the situation, you might need it. Would you mind just leaving that? Daver. Hey, Nicolay. Welcome to my tavern. A nice place you have here. Congratulations. <laughs> Told you. You should have come in last night. 
I'm curious. Do you consider yourself a taxidermist? A what? Taxidermist. A person who preserves dead animals for the purpose of being put on display. Oh, no. It's because of that head over there. No, no, no. That's just an exception. I loved that pig. So that one had the privilege of a quick death. He died of natural causes. Why? Do you remember telling me last night about your procedure? You vividly described the sounds, the scents, the images. Now that you mention, I recall saying something, but it's what I do. Gotta feed the guests. Fair enough. And how do you feed yourself? With love from people of this friendly community. What do you think? No nightly hunting activities? <laughs> oh, be our guest. Wait for the night and then go into the woods. Hear the silence and hunt the nothingness. But you were taking a nap when I arrived and you looked tired. Suppose you didn't get much sleep last night. Wrong presumption, my friend. I went to bed the moment you left. You know, the wine we had and all. Why are you asking all these strange questions? I'm just worried about you. Let me show you something. I think you'll find it interesting. He had his chance to take it last night. Now it's mine. What's that? I'm the one who should be confused here. Why the number 30? Does it have a special meaning? Those eyes are the only proof I have. You see, someone took everything we had and left 30 pig's eyes in one of our bags. Unbelievable! How did this happen? The coward who did that took advantage of the night. You don't say. And he knew we were heavily dazed by the wine you gave us. Must have watched us the whole time on the square. But your wife didn't drink at all. She said it tasted like human blood. She didn't see him? I wasn't aware that she didn't drink the wine. Maybe she saw him. I don't know yet. Do you have any idea who our guy might be? Oh, I don't. No, people around here are hungry, weak, misguided. It could be anyone. <laughs> Even the priest. Especially the priest. I think it could be someone who collects pig's eyes. You think? The procedure you described last night. I can't get it out of my head. Which part exactly? All of it. The agonizing shrieks, the scent of liquids, the... the images of piles of gouged eyes. How can you enjoy that? What can I say? The more they suffer, the better the food. <laughs> Is that the reason? Why are you worried about me? No, not really. What worries me, and you both have a very particular fixation for pig's eyes. What are the odds? Let's stop pretending, friend. About what? Give me our stuff back, and I'll be out of your way. Are you accusing me of something? To be honest, I just need my pills. You can keep the rest. No one's gonna accuse you of anything. And I need you to leave. Now. Not without my morphine. What I really meant 
is that you should leave this town. It's not safe for the likes of you. Are you threatening? Like our prophet always says, this town is hanging tightly on the edge of hell. Can this prophet of yours foresee what's gonna happen if you don't help me get my pills back? I'll ask him. Moise, crawl your way out of the grave. It's hanging loosely, not tightly. This town's hanging loosely on the edge. Help our friend get his stuff back. And don't mind him for having insulted you. What? You said I'm a taxidermist because of his crippled state and that he looks like a corpse put on display. <laughs> that is not the truth. God has taken away many things, but hearing is not one of them. Talk to me. I can help you. So, how can you help me? You first. I don't understand. What's so special about that? Don't you know already? I am. I... See... I'm having one from the moment I woke up. Still not the truth. I'm not a local. Where would I find morphine in this, like you call it, place at the edge of hell? Nikolai, what's so special about them? My wife gave them to me. Ah. And the pouch where they were placed in. What if she is the perpetrator? You said it yourself. No, that's not... Like I said, you first. I already... That was nothing. First. How do I do? By doing something. And then you'll help me. He's not my friend. And I never said he's your perpetrator. What do you want? The truth about... That was yesterday. Is this about my wife? No. It's about what this town did and is still doing. What did you see last night on the square? People prayed together, chanted, rang their bells, and then set the effigy on fire. They call it a celebration of life. I say it's the century-old celebration of lies. Go out and find out all you can about October 28th. You want me to ask people what they know? Why, if all they know are lies? Correct. You'll show me that lie, and then I'll tell you the truth. And don't... Who should I ask? Anyone. People around here know more about the town's past. Why don't you tell me the truth? You have to learn the lie first. Merit my help. I'll do it. Don't you move. It won't take me long. Remember, the truth is always painful. Sometimes even horrible.